Yes. A very, a very good afternoon to all of you. Myself, Dr. Zehra Haq. I'm from Antabati Homeopathic Medical College. I'm a Chodi Pathology. And I'm lucky to get the chance to be an anchor of today's golden webinar in which we have a very qualified, a very qualified, a very good orator, sir, that is Dr. Partha Roy, sir. He's from uh, Bhagwan Homeopathic Medical College, Aurangabad. And he will be speaking on a very good topic that is applied organon. And sir is a great, what we can say, he has immense uh, intense. He has very much uh, good, he's a good orator and he has a very true love for psychology also. He can also deal with psychological cases and he's of a very good nature. We all know him very well. So he's MD in homeopathy. He has an MSc and he's a PG diploma in guidance and counseling and also HOD and professor Organon of uh, Sri Bhagwan Homeopathic Medical College, Aurangabad. So I request sir to please start the session. Sir, please welcome. Dr. Thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. So uh, should I get permission? Can I share my screen? Yes, sir. You can share yes. your screen. Yes, just a moment. Please check it now. Whether it is shared. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll let you know. Yeah, I'm going for the uh, full screen mode, slideshow mode. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, it is audible, visible. Yes, sir, it is visible. Yes, yes. So, <clears throat> without wasting time, a very good afternoon to everyone. So, uh, suddenly a call came from our beloved friend, Dr. Prashant Darbar, sir, and later on from Dr. Rockiles Cancer, to whom I am in connection till last 20 years almost. So that to speak a bit uh, in front of a, a good audience, a homeopathic fraternity. So I think I should not miss the chance. So I am very much uh, thankful to the organizers to give me opportunity to speak before such an august audience. My today's topic is applied organon and integrated study. Now, what is this applied organ? Because being a teacher of organ since last 20, 30, 20, 25 years, as a teacher, what I failed, the, all the subjects taught in BHMS level, whether they have integrated in a proper manner. The question of integration is highly important. Whether organon becomes a part of the journey of a practitioner or a homeopath. Whether repertory can be mixed with practice of medicine. Whether pathology has got any role to play when a homeopath practices homeopathy because unless homeopathy is practiced. So the journey will be strong. We need more practitioners practicing homeopathy. So today's effort, but from our side, we are going to take that. We'll try to amalgamate the concept of organ and materia medica with the other subjects, repertory obviously, the three homeopathic subjects with the so-called allied subjects, because this is the need of the time what I felt. So we'll start with organ. This is the extract. What is organ? What I felt. This is the extract of experience, understanding, conviction, and a ripened philosophical paramount of animals. This is what is organ. And this was written when it was aging 55, 50. Both I have written because there is one thing to share. Before organ came as a volume or a book, Hanuman wrote one article. And the name of the article was 
medicine of experience. It was published in 1805. And in that book, that is in medicine of experience, what is written, that become fragmented, that become aphorosized, means a number is given before every paragraph and the shape of organ, what is available before us. Now, why this peculiar shape was given? Because being a student of organ, I have tried to find out why this peculiar type of structure actually was followed. Because when Hippocrates wrote his aphorisms of Hippocrates, that is called, in a net version it is available, that is Adam's Hippocrates, it was written in aphorisms. And we all know Hanuman was an ardent follower of Hippocrates. But apart from that, when we study Bacon's work, that is the process of inductive methodology of logic in that particular area was also written in aphorisms. Hanuman was much motivated by a book, the name of the book was The Critique of the Pure Reason. That was written by Immanuel Kant, not Kant, not our Kant. His name was Kant, Immanuel Kant. So that motivated German's life in any way, and Hanuman was a follower. So that particular book was written in aphorisms. If we study the old English literature, for example, any of the Shakespeare work, that is written in aphorism. So Hanuman was got motivated by several number of people who wrote their work in aphoristic style. So what was written in his age of 50, that is medicine of experience, that was ultimately got a new shape and that was aphorosized. It put in aphorism and in his age of 55 years, actually he had made this. Now the most important thing, this was Hanuman's most meticulous, I must talk, meticulous, maximally changed and self-criticized article. The yeah, article, I must use it, article with a number. So that's the thing. It is uniquely presented and most dignified, almost complete, not out of control. So this is just the prelude what I've said of organ. Now, organon is a long article, a paragraph in number, and we speaks about the fundamental roots of homeopathic practice. So that means, apart from organon, homeopathy may not stand, will not stand. Now, here he has got three parts, this present structure of organon, we have got three parts. One is preface, second is introduction, and third is the text proper. And there in the text proper, we have got doctrinal part, theoretical part, or policies rather, what is to be done, and the remaining part, what is the practical or applied aspect, what is to be done. Now it is said repeatedly that what is described in organ on aphorism number three, actually it is described in the whole length of organ. And if we start speaking or reading the aphorism three, Next, aphorism three. So there we will see it starts, if the physician clearly perceives what is to be cured in diseases, that is to say every individual case of the disease and where he writes knowledge of the disease indication. So that means organ begins with, with the desire that the physician must have got the knowledge of the disease. Because we must not forget, Hanuman was a allopathic physician because I should not tell allopathy because this term, anyone doesn't know. And recently the question was asked in KBC, Kon Baranga Karolpati also, who is the person, name the person who coined the word allopathy, later turned to allopathy, that was our Hanuman only. So this man, he desires, a person must have got the knowledge of the disease and comma indication. Now, this speaks about two definite aspects. 
it's too definite. One, the general understanding of the disease. Now, what are the general understanding? One is the signs and symptoms. Second is the cause of the disease. Third is the complication of the disease. Fourth is the management of the disease. Because the study is retrograde, you know. From signs and symptoms, then only we go to find the cause. Say it is a case of fever. Now, what type of fever it is? Whether it is viral, whether it is a case of typhoid, whether it was due to pneumonia or whatever. Then we go for the complication. That is highly important because ultimately we are treating a patient having a disease. And last but never the least, the management, what is the essential part of today's patient we are dealing with. The part two of the general understanding is the classification of the disease. Now I'm not going what Hanuman wrote in 71 to 82 aphorisms. But we must categorize the disease into four categories at least. One is surgical, second is acute, third is acute exacerbation, and fourth is chronic. So this is the part of organ we know better. The student of organ knows better. Second part, <clears throat> that the behavior of the disease in the individual, that means how the person is coping the disease. Because from that, the individuality or individualistic concept of homeopathy comes. And this is described in aphorism 83 to 104, what we call the process of case receiving, or what Hanneman said, it is the individualizing examination of the chaos of the disease, case of the disease. Now, we will take a short look on the study curriculum. What actually been taught in BHS? So in the first year, we start with anatomy and physiology. The second year, we get the subject pathology. On third year, we get the subject like obstetric gynecology and surgery. On four, uh, sorry, in second year, pathology and forensic medicine, I'm just omitted. On third year, we get obstetric gynecology surgery. And on final year, we get community medicine and practice of medicine. Apart from this, we have got our four homeopathic subjects. One is pharmacy, second is metromedica, third is repertory, and fourth is organ. Question comes, whether this syllabus has got a meaning? Because the intention of the syllabus, where is getting perfectly followed by the curriculum? Because nowadays, as per the present proposal, four new subjects have been proposed to include with this syllabus. One is yoga, second is psychology. Psychology was there a bit in first year organ of medicine, but now they are claiming of individual separate subject. Third is the modern pharmacology, and fourth is the statistics. So why the syllabus is framed in that way? Whether these knowledge are amalgamated when a person is prescribing a drug. Because whether the knowledge of practice of medicine is reflected when we select a drug, whether the knowledge of forensic medicine is reflected in our mind when we are selecting a drug. So this is the general understanding of the disease. We know that disease is sign, symptom, cause, complication through the whole syllabus framed before us. The second part, as just I have said, behavior of the disease in the individual, that is called case receiving. Now, so the working hypothesis is understanding the disease Matching the disease in the hand and disease in the book. Understanding myasm, that is face. Expressive totality. Conversion of the rubric. Maybe or may not be, it is not essential part. Repertorization, maybe, may not be, not essential part. Susceptibility, judgment of susceptibility, because unless we cannot understand the potency of the disease inside the person, we will not be able to select the potency of the drug, what I am going to prescribe, whether it is in 30 to 106, 1M, 10M, whatever. The final selection, 
and ultimately that right? so this is the methodology is to be followed so one part there is the disease second but a person having the disease and third the drugs written in the homeopathic method when this process <coughs> is perfectly matched maintained and then only we can get the miraculous result that happens with every one of us in homeopathy but this is the background story this is not done in a practice manner but this should happen automatically because there is a rush of patient and really every time we cannot give the 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, day, one and a half hour to the patient. So it is an automatic process by which you are driving a car. Automatically, we press the brake. Automatically, we, <coughs> we press the clutch. We uh, give the accelerator. And when sudden thing comes, we put the brake. That is an automatic issue. You cannot think that I'm going to clutch it or I'm going to uh, press the brake and then we'll brake. No, that is not possible. From the psychological point of view, it is not possible. This is an automatic process. So part one, understand the process. Because in previous slide, what we have said, this is the applied of life, to understand the myasm, to understand the totality, to evaluate the symptoms, to analyze the symptoms, to understand the meaning of the symptoms. Everything is applied. Everything is applied. Now, when we are going to understand the disease, it in groups. Number one, we have to eliminate uncommon, peculiar, queer, hair stain symptoms. That is to be found out. And that what is spoken in aphorism 153. Second thing, from common signs and symptoms of the disease, we have to understand whether the disease is curable or Ultimately, I am there to go to palliate the disease. Say, for example, incurable conditions as bleeding in carcinoma cells. What to do there that we have to understand? Because if the patient is bleeding like anything, whether the duty of the physician, what is the duty of the physician? To stop bleeding, obviously. Whether it is possible by our This creates the problem and the solve a homeopathy physician is to solve it. The way that apart from taking totality to the minor totality, can we prescribe a drug that the severe bleeding of the cervix carcinoma can be stopped? Later we'll think what can be done. This gives the idea how much important the symptom is. For example, the hemoptysis or the blood is coughing out in case of mitral stenosis and mitral regurgitation, regurgitation are of equal value. Because in case of mitral stenosis, the pulmonary hypertension that takes place very quickly because there is left atrial hypertrophy. So the pressure is increased to the left atrium and quickly it reaches to the heart. Oh, sorry, in lung. But in case of mitral regurgitation, quite naturally, Pulmonary hypertension takes place after when whole body congestion takes place. So, in a case of mitral stenosis, the bleeding through lung is not that much important or pathological. But in case of mitral regurgitation, this is pathological. One homeopathic physician must know it. Because it is not expected. That the homeopathic physician will diagnose the case like a DM or MD medicine, MD physician, but at least he must have the knowledge to danger the smell. This is highly important. Whether this smell speaks about something dangerous is occurring inside of the patient. So unless we have got knowledge of the perfect knowledge of the disease and the pathology and the pathogenesis of the symptom, we will not be able to handle the cases because the world is progressed. When the patient will come, he will get enough knowledge from Google Baba, Google Madam, and he will speak about the disease many times better than us because the person concerns himself and we person as a physician concerns thousands. I can still remember a case, the patient talked for me 15 minutes about the disease. <coughs> and he said, this much I know, doctor, what else you need? This thing occur, 
and how much your practice will increase that much these people will come and you have to handle second part the complication of the disease the physician must know regular monitoring for example lipid profile serum creatinine and numbers of things in case of diabetes mellitus when you treat the patient whether we are happy only should be happy only with fasting and post meal blood sugar or hb1c whether the lipid profile the serum creatinine will not be checked in a regular interval we have to the meaning of the investigation report say SGOD, SGPD, whether it is only for tondis or liver assaults, or whether they are the indicator of muscle protein. We have to know what is the meaning of it. Whether the complication are to be treated or disease or both. Say a person have come with a diabetic foot, now what to do? The person has got a gangrenous condition. The allopathy physician said, yes, now the leg is to be amputated. What we are going to do this case? Whether the diabetes to be controlled, because we know unless the sugar level is controlled, the further healing will not start. But at the same point of time, the gangrene is causing danger for his life. A physician has to take a decision. This is the physician has to take a decision. This is not a homeopath to take a decision. Be a physician and then be a homeopath because what I believe homeopathy is a super specialty. Because the patient comes when they lost all the hopes. So they believe you and I have to give the return of the belief. Now management, remedial, drug, drugs under use and homeopathic medicine. The person is coming and taking, he is regularly in insulin. Now what to do? Whether I stop insulin, then start with the drug. It is not possible. So the tapering, how to taper? A physician must chalk out. Say a patient is an antisteroid. A patient coming from some immune complex mediated nephrotic syndrome, what will do? The patient is taking a large to moderate dose of steroid every day because they want to suppress the immunity. What to do? Non medium correction in diet, physiotherapy, psychotherapy, prevention of taking some drug beverages. Everything is coming under the knowledge of the disease and that is the syllabus created for. Now, our duty to fuse this knowledge with a homeopathy. So two aspects, we have to search the similarity of the drug in the book and the disease in the hand. And if we study homeopathic materia medica, there are some problem in study what personally I face, probably you faced also. Our materia medica is not written in medical terms. It is descriptive, poetic, story like and sometimes it is full with several metaphors. Homeopathy Metro Medica is not written in the term of medicine. Medical terminology is very less. It is descriptive. They are giving stool is like the spam on the frog pond. What you will do? So you have to find a small waterlogged area. You have to see the green algas. You have to find the area where the frog gives birth of their kid. And then we'll understand the magnesia atoms too. So several examples. If we study George Vitulkas, he gives tuberculinum. He gives the example of a Tolstoy drama that is three sisters. So there it is written that the three sisters used to strongly believe if they can change the place from their small village to Moscow, their life will be changed. So Vitalkas tried to describe this for the cosmopolitanism rubric of tuberculosis. If we study the psychological material medical, that is by Philip Mbeli, 
He gives the example of Julie Andrews. The movie that is of the sound of music, Lord of Oscar, it had owned, it's a fantastic movie. So to understand phosphorus, he is giving a reference of that particular movie. A river going and suddenly stopped. So it is a scene here. Now, this is not an easy job to study Materia Medica because it is full with metal. Apart from medicine, it takes reference from psychology, society, politics, poem, novels, movie, any branch of human art just have said this. Lot of construction difficulties, translation controversy, author's philosophical difference. Construction difficulty. If you study Alice Metro Medica, the symptoms are scattered. Metro Medica Pura, really we do not know how we can memorize the symptoms. For example, the clinical material medical by Clark, huge symptoms. Controversy of translation, if we study material medical pura, part one, the faces and the introductory lectures, and there a list is given, holes in Germany, men's throat also, that means in our chest also. Now we have to depend upon the translation. Anyway, these are the bigger talks, but we have to keep in mind the which translation was made. That is written by Hughes, you see, to read it. Author's philosophical difference. So that the metramatic is a story type metramatic. What we call a drug picture, that is from Margaret Tyler, that is from Kent. Actually, what happens if you study the same drug from Kent and Margaret Tyler, they are essentially different. But in examination, generally we ask her who had written drug picture metramatic. If the student gives the answer Kent and Tyler, we become happy. But the issue is not that. Cain stands in Cain's area, Tyler stands in Tyler's. Because in Cain, he used to practice in a sophisticated area of USA. So quite naturally, he will not get any robber-like opodium. He will not get a decoit-like opodium. He will never get a thief-like opodium in Cain. Because he didn't have seen these people. And what they didn't have seen, they didn't have it. Not like us to present cases in a seminars and to tell any. Because they were too much loyal on writing their Metramedica, even their repertory, if we study, they are still worth with so much development of other repertories too. So the study becomes difficult. And this is important. So applied Metramedica is mingled in, sorry, applied organ and is mingled in Metramedica practice of medicine and repertory. And we have to explore how we can find diseases from symptoms. Now let us see. In our Metra Medica, because we have got a short time, so how in Metra Medica, we can find the disease. And if this is possible, so then our study of Metra Medica will be better. Now in Metra Medica, there are description of clinical presentation with or without the name of the disease. Many where we'll see it. Let us see one example. I have to read it. It is there before in your screen. Reaching and vomiting, loss of appetite, distended tympanic hurt, no flatters emitted upward or downward, gripping about the novel, stool liquid frothy, profuse brown with coli. Bad like swelling of intestine, vomiting of fecal mat. This is abdomen of a particular. Now let us see. So underlying data, what they're telling abdomen is distended, tympanic, and hard. No flatters emitted upward or downward. Means there is no irritation or no flatters is getting passed. The drug says. They are writing the pad like swelling of the intestine. And they are writing vomiting of fecal mat. The drug is, will come shortly after. Now, what the disease is, from which disease the person is suffering? So everyone now can tell the disease is intestinal obstruction 
And the drug is Rafinacinex. Question comes, whether this Rafinacinex will act better in a case of intestinal obstruction or when there is no intestinal obstruction, but the symptoms are like this. So from our understanding of homeopathy, obviously, this drug will act better when there is no intestinal obstruction because then only these symptoms become uncommon, peculiar. So this is the way from which we can get uncommon, peculiar symptom of a particular drug because when the person will come with intestinal obstruction, these symptoms will be the common symptom for the disease. Okay. Now let us see another drug. They're writing, it is an efficacious remedy for wheezing and operation in bronchitis patient. Please read it. The civil and rails means the sound that is produced and that is civil and that means a kind of getting rubbed by two, uh, what you should sandpapers, that is a civil and rail that is disseminated with foamy mucus and very difficult to detect. So here the expectoration is tough, sticky. Acts on pulmonary circulation. Asthma with profuse tenacious expectoration. So we have said difficult to detect the profuse expectoration. It is tenacious, which relieves, stops breathing while falling asleep. Awakes with a stab and gasp for breathing. The person was sleeping. Suddenly there is stoppage of bleeding. He wakes up and try to get air. Cannot breathe while lying down. Now they are writing pertussis with propious mucus secretion. Pertussis means whooping cough. So by the injection of whooping cough, that means pertussis. So pertussis does not occur today. Uh, cancer might have seen these cases of pertussis in his life, Oculus sir. But this is, I didn't have seen. Bronchoria means profuse mucus discharge with tough white is mucus expectoration. Civil and rals. So you see, civil and rals come from two areas. The mucus is difficult and hard to detach coming in three areas. So that means it is exome characteristic. Say a point we study the drug Kali self, you will see gray, gray, gray means discharge is gray. The author tries to hammer it in your brain. For example, if we study rhododendron, you will see in thousand area, he is writing before rainy weather or during thunderstorm or like this. They're writing weak heart and respiration cannot be lying down. Two areas it has come and there is tiny stroke breathing. The drug is Grindalia robust, a fantastic remedy. Now let us see how many diseases they have seen. So we are getting four clinical conditions. One chronic bronchitis. Second is asthmatic bronchitis. What is asthma? Third is pertussis. And fourth is cardiac asthma means that is from left ventricular failure or a congestive heart failure. Now, whether the symptoms are available, let us check. Cardiac asthma means it is comprises due to, we all know, but this is a feature of congestive cardiac. It is known as cardiac asthma because it mimics asthma. And we get the omnipotent sign of left ventricular failure. What are this? PND means paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. We get the pink for the sputa. We get gallop rhythm. Now let us see <clears throat> whether it is there in the drug. Now they are writing homey mucus difficult to detach, acts on pulmonary circulation, stops breathing while falling asleep, wakes up with a stare, etc., etc. Weak heart and respiration cannot breathe like my Chinese stroke inspiration. So a perfect picture of congestive cardiac failure is written. Being a homeopath, it is our duty to find the diseases from symptoms. And if we find in a case of congestive cardiac failure, this drug Grindalia robusta will act as a palliative. And if it is not a case of congestive cardiac failure. This all stand as PQRS. 
Now I'm not going to read it in detail because time is short. We all know these things. Now the causes of congestive failure, I am most interested in this area. Chinese stroke breathing means there is repeated inspiration and then single aspiration and the cycle is repeated. The students and practitioners know better than me. The causes of causing Chinese stroke are this, 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 and last is medicinal overdose like morphine. Now, when we studied the relation of Grindalia, we see they are writing this drug morphine. Now see how much they are, they have observed the effect of the remove. It is astonishing. Today, we have got several tools through which we can understand Yes, morphine poisoning can cause those things, but our metamedical proofers and writer already established the relationship with morphine with kinase stroke breathing and with Grindalia robusta in so many days back. Unless we study, we will not get the results. Because this is highly important. We restrict on keen on mental symptoms only, but you go and check expectoration chapter, numbers of rubric Griffin is giving the type of expectoration. You see the cough chapter, we'll find how many characters of cough he has written. Croaking, whistling, ringling, whistling, sibilant. Do we ever start it this way? What is a kind of thing? Sibling, what is a kind of a whistling cow? This is to be done. Now, another example strongly exaggerated reflexes and physical disturbance, evident by men walking fun of each other's gait. The person moves in such a way that other people laughs, means some. Walking difficulty is there. They're writing paraplegia progressive, wasting feeble and staggering gait. Muscular twitching camps in clavus. Stiffness in muscles of legs cannot walk backward without falling. Tendency to fall forward, walk stooping forward, legs feel numb. And then the list of diseases, Wilson's disease, paralytic hesitance, peculiar slapping gait, walks on metatarsopharyngeal joint, metacarpopharyngeal joint, Walks on background, right? The drug is Mangana Vasitikam. Don't forget it was proved by animal. We rarely use it. At least one symptom we know that the cough is relieved by lying down because in most of the drugs, the cough is aggravated by lying down. But in Mangana, a very decapting is a remedy where they have written the cough is amulated by lying down. So we have got the Strongly exaggerated reflexes. Now, hyperreflexia causes of hyperreflexia. When we study the vision, we get this, and we, you might have seen one I have written in red that is multiple sclerosis. Now, let us see. Paraplegia progressive, staggering gait. Staggering gait is nothing but an atoxic gait, means the person cannot walk. Description is given. Now, what are the causes of stubborn gait? Again, we are getting multiple sclerosis. So there we have seen multiple sclerosis as a cause of exacerbated reflex. And again, when we speak of staggering gait, we are getting multiple sclerosis. That means, though it is not written in the drug pathology, but this drug can be successfully used in multiple sclerosis like disorder. If symptoms collapse. Now, progress the study. Now, the gait cannot walk backward without falling, tendency to fall forward, walk stooping forward. And it is a gait. What is the name of this gait? This gait is called fascinating gait. And this fascinating gait we get in the disease, paralytic agitants, 
and paralytic agitancy in today's terminology is Parkinson's disease. So it is a remedy that can be used in Parkinson's disease too. So this is how the drugs describe the disease and how we can amalgamate Metra Medica with this particular disease pathogenesis. And behind there is organ that speaks about the commonness and uncommonness of the cell. A single sentence or a word, how we can conclude a remedy because I cannot speak uh, only 10 minutes remaining. In one drug, we are getting bloody sweat. A single word. The remedy is crotalus horridus, you know. Now what is the bloody sweat? This the sweat is bloody. When we see the repertory, we get these are the remedy, crotalus lattices, two members of the snake group. And this is called hematrosis, and this occurs. The capillary blood supply rupture. No, this is sweat is bloody. You can find a picture. There is no pathology. Only see bleed. There are three girls we have seen. It doesn't mean only the girls suffer. Boys also suffer. We have collected the picture from this net. Now, when this thing occurs, now they are writing from the recent case papers. Just I am giving you the reference. So this may be a symptom of disseminated intravascular coagulation. Now this kind of cases does not come to us, but probably it, during their time, they used to get these cases. We may remember, sir, one of the greatest Marathi actress, Smita Patil, she was tired of this syndrome. Disseminated intravascular coagulation generally occurs post pregnancy, post delivery, post perturbation. So, in a single line, the ocean of the disease is like from a word, if we search the cause, why this thing happens, you will find the disease behind. Another drug, I will give a short example intensity, no swelling. Etc. and etc. So here means itching without eruption, intense itching and no rash. And this occurs, or this symptom is found on dolicos purines. Purines. A dolicos we generally say. Where we get the symptom that is called disease or the itching without eruption. Now, when this thing occurs, this occurs in several diseases, but this is a symptom of liver disease. That is polystatic jaundice because the bilirubin or bile salts, they go beneath the skin and that causes it. This occurs in skin cancer. So from a single line, we can get, I'm extremely sorry, a minute my path. Hello. Ha. So it's okay. So we get it in case of liver diseases, cholesterol disease, and this is in skin cancer. So from a single line or a word, we can find the myriad of it. I just will skip. Now medical terminology is what is there in material medica not available in use. A number of these. Subtellus tendera. The rods, hyacinthus, mesarium, etc. This used to occur in last stage of type 1. Now with the huge use of antibiotics, this does not occur. The coma visit. You will get such terminology. We have to study what does the mean. Carpologia, right? Like several things. Chiku, you will see in the material medical, that means malaria. Thysis, tuberculosis. 
pneumogastric nerve, vagus nerve. So pruritus, itching, Bryce disease, chronic nephritis. Unless zymotic fever, it is a rubric that is in Kent repertory fever, the last rubric fever, zymotic. So that means it is a low continued fever. In case of coculus, you will see they are writing the fever is assuming a snaking pattern. The fever, chortan. So this, this, this. So we first study the symptom or these, you will understand the name of them. Now, there are <clears throat> many words. Comparison. See, in a drug, they have written with so will like character. The drug is Prothos Potitas. We know we use several times in an uh, asthmatic condition. <coughs> and Prothos is a remedy where there we'll see a very important symptom asthma relief by stool, a peculiar symptom. Anyway, but they have written with so will. What does it mean, will of the wish? What does it mean? So any hope or good that leads, but impossible to reach. And if we see dictionary, so they call it the kind of phosphorylation. Phosphorylation means the fire that occurs in cells. So we are getting phosphorus, the tubercular structure behind from the single symptom. And if we study the drug, you will see how much strongly tubercular the drug is. Because myasm does not remain anywhere. It remains in the drug and in the patient. So if I say you like, tell me 10 sonic symptoms, it is meaningless. It is to teach better to material medica to tell them this is a sonic symptom or this symptoms occurs in a sonic phase. This is the integration. This is the Now again, we'll get quarter your graceful movement in case of stramonia. So they're writing the patient has got involuntary movement, but the movement is graceful. Then Parkinson, the drug is stramonia. So graceful. It is not awkward like jinkam or alumina that you have to imagine. In a case of Parkinsonism of Zincom, how he will walk, how he will sit. So there is some awkwardness you will observe. But as far as stramonium, that will be graceful. That means he will hide his movement in such a manner that the other people will understand it's something normal that is getting. And if you study Parkinsonism, so they, are, they have given a word Quasi purposive movement. That means it is not purposive, but the person pretends it is to be purposive. Like that. So there are several examples. I'm not going because time is too slow, uh, too, too less, and it is, um, we are closing to the session. In many ways, we will get the direct reference of the diseases, as well as contraction, bagara bagara. That we will see in Veratramberidi. Only two drugs you will see this symptom in Borix material medica. A phosphorus second is Veratramberidi. That is the remedy of the pseudo hypertrophic muscular dystrophy. You search it, you will get it. Athetosis and several. This is the medical terminology. This Our material medica speaks about the action of remedy to It directly rise, oxygen carriers and catalyzes. And this drug, you know, it was tremendously used by the homeopaths during the time of Corona. That is vanadium metallic, a true oxygen carrier. In several cases of brain infection, cardiac infection, the people suggest to give vanadium. And they tell the oxygen carrying ability in humans. So like this way, if we can intermingle the study of our material medica make it bigger. So quite naturally, the prescription will be best and the result will be quick. The last part of our story with this, I shall close. And for that, I will take the help of 
another slide because because of my time was too less i couldn't make it so that was there should i may get a bit of time sir two minutes only i want two minute i want and there that is a very interesting part so i'm interested to show you to to be for fraternity because so many of these are open so this is the last part of this just a moment if it opens that good if it is not that also do how the miasm is hidden in metrimin for just was talking this is the last part this is the miasmatic cleavage this is the miasmatic cleavage is how we can find in metrimin this drug particularly this drug particularly writes ailments from continuous loss of sleep low lasting anxiety over exertion of mind and body from nursing the sick anguish from the loss of his dearest friend in the for the tired of life sadness before menses so here the person is concerned to the other people so naturally anyone can tell it is the reaction of a stoic way so these are the three consecutive a statement i am reading from metro medica of allen allen skin the second paradise great anxiety about his diseases now the disease was of the other people he was serving the sick his friend now he is concerning to his own diseases about his diseases constantly thinking about his past troubles morbid fear of cholera depressed and anxious in the evening so quite naturally anyone can tell it is the reaction of psychotic person now last the third para of the same drug irritable headstrong hateful vindictive ill hearted ill willed and unmoved by apologizes so anyone can tell this is the civility phase reaction and the drug is nitric acid so with this i am closing my ceremony uh, uh, my, my deliberation thanks to one and all and i must uh, will uh, be highly thankful to uh, i have finished my deliberation sir okay okay please close the screen close the screen yes 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 that i'm it was really an excellent session sir thanks a lot thank you thank you so much because i personally was... feel if it is started in that way then this amalgamation is possible then the prescription can be better i find tripti over there how are you yeah anyway Bye, yes. Sir. <laughs> yes yes now, now i invite Dr. Trupti Chaudhary, ma'am, to give the vote of thanks. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Like before, before that, if there is any question from the students, yeah. if there is query, the students they are yes, they yes, can yes. ask the password. Yes. Students can ask the queries and questions to respected sir. Yes. Hello, sir. First of all, congratulations for this uh, great uh, your great. सेमिनार सर एक क्वेश्चन था मुझे बोलो जब से हम कोविड से बाहर निकले हैं जी तो ये देख रहे हैं कि किडनी से रिलेटेड और हार्ट से रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम से लोग बोलो बोलो राइट यू आर राइट सर तो जितने भी सर्दी हुई या खांसी हुई या छोटी छोटी सी भी अगर बीमारियां हैं तो उसमें हार्ट और किडनी का इन्वॉल्वेशन बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है तो ऐसे कंडीशंस में हमने किस प्रकार से मटेरियल मेडिका को अप्रोच हमारा होना चाहिए 
नहीं मेट्रियामेटिक का इज नॉट द इशू इशू इज द अप्रोच हमको क्या करना चाहिए सो लुक लुक हाँ मेट्रियामेटिका ऑल द मेट्रियामेटिका आर गुड नो ऑब्जेक्शन ऑन मेट्रियामेटिका ओनली द थिंग इज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग मेट्रियामेटिका यू रीड द प्रीफेस वॉट यू जनरली डू नॉट डू द प्रीफेस स्पीक्स वाई द ऑथर हैज रिटन दैट मेट्रियामेटिक so with okay. the notion of kent's writing you cannot read bori if you read hmm. bori then with that notion you cannot read allen skinner try to feel me so there okay. in such occasions post covid because this mm-hmm. was like strong with so many of the wrong conception the people had practiced many thing dragging non dragging also so here in okay. this time what i personally suggest That the constitutional treatment that will act better. Materialistica yes. is not the issue. You have to take the okay. whole case, because few days back I was uh, few days back, but the last three four months, I, I personally was taking a case of obstinate cough after COVID, and there mm-hmm. with the local modality we had tried to treat because the patient does not uh, was on telephonic conversation and basically no result came. then ultimately i told the person you please to come and meet and we take a long case and after that we found constitutionally calcarea carb is coming so calcarea carb was given in 01 potency means 50 millisml potency and seven divided dose was given so one day calcarea carb second day uh, uh, placebo third day and with a tremendous tremendous thing within seven days the person come out of, of this obstinate cough about or at least of four months so that should be approached in post covid cases okay sir okay okay sir thank you thank you sir no mental medical case not the issue is your approach yes yes approach is issue yes, yes approach is <laughs> here just what yes, i sir. wanted to clarify that ki what we call uncommon peculiar where uncommon peculiar lies the uncommon peculiar mm-hmm. your made my asm your everything is there in the metrometrica घर पे बिरयानी रोज रोज नहीं बनता लेकिन जिस दिन बनता उस दिन ये मत बोलो इलाजी नहीं थी मेट्रोमेडिका इज योर स्पाइसेस आपके घर पे ये मौजूद रहना चाहिए जब आएगा तो उस दिन बना के देना है उसको बाबू कारण ऐसे बहुत सारे सिम्टम है जो रेपाटरी में नहीं मिलेगा आपको मेट्रोमेडिका भी मिलता हो अभी आज टाइम नहीं है तो मैं रेपाटरी या मेट्रोमेटिका खोल के आपको एक ड्रग पढ़ा के सुनाता था आप मेरे को रूबरिक में कन्वर्ट करके बताओ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल आई एम गिविंग यू एक काम करो कैजुपेटम करके एक ड्रग है सी ए जे यू कैजुपेटम एंड कैजुपेटम ड्रग आप क्लार्क मेट्रोमेटिका से पढ़ो कितने भयंकर मेंटल सिम्टम्स को लिखता है ये बोलता है कि वो आदमी लोगों से बात नहीं करता लेकिन लड़की लोगों के अंदर बहुत हाइटेड फील करता इट इज रिटर्न इन मेट्रो कॉकुलस पर के दो कुछ पे सीधा लिखता रोमांटिक गर्ल्स पोएट गर्ल्स लिखा है मेट्रोमेटिक हम पढ़ते नहीं इसके लिए सेवरल कंस्ट्रक्शन और पढ़िए मेट्रोमेटिक इज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल थिंग बिकॉज इट इज बिकॉज इट इज द टूल बाकी सब थ्योरी है यही प्रैक्टिक बिल्कुल सर हम लोग आगे भी विश करते हैं कि आगे भी हम आपको सुनेंगे बहुत अच्छा Yes. and that will give a new energy for uh, our team uh, patra sir your lecture is quite informative you have used your best of energy and you, dr barwat informative sir and at this time with that uh, subject expert he is an expert in but simultaneously he is implement that knowledge in pra- clinical practice and that's why he is able to uh, give more informative lecture in front of us 
so i will ha hand over the mic to dr trupti choudhary madam thank you sir thanks a lot sir dr respected dr park roy sir good afternoon to all firstly i am being honored to get such a wonderful opportunity for out of thanks on this grand occasion today we are in the fifth golden day of this national webinar series being conducted by antar bharti homeopathic medical college daba nagpur and today we got a chance to listen to a very good orientation and gem of a person who is well known for his a precious nature i was under his uh, guidance during my pg curriculum thanks a lot respected dr parth roy sir for such a good say on a plant organism and it will be definitely beneficial not only for our students but also for all of us also and i thanks our respected director dr bhausab jite for everything also i thanks our respected principal sir dr prashant barbat sir for arranging such a nice upgrading event i thanks respected dr akhilesh khan sir for sharing his knowledge with us always enlightening us and giving support i thanks my friend dr zaira ma'am for enthusiastic anchoring i thanks to all my dear students my colleagues for patiently attending this innovative great webinar and again i thankful to uh, naman for his help and once again i very thanks to our antarvarti team thank you very much yes tomorrow first december we will be having a great speaker uh, from our antarvarti homeopathy college that is dr pankaj nimze sir in the sixth day of our webinar series thank you sir time, thank time, you doctor time 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 madam time i am uh, 11 am okay 11 am okay yeah okay thank you so much thank, thank you thanks thank you. a lot dr trupti ma'am thank you it was a nice thanksgiving dr parth roy sir i have huh? a request for you i have a request for you sir yeah yes madam yes <laughs> we all want to learn more from you sir Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we have a chance, we'll talk in a entire different way. Okay, man. Really, sure. It was really an excellent session. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank, you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So I thank all of you for patiently listening to this excellent webinar. And tomorrow we will be having a new session with a new great speaker that is Dr. Nimje sir from a college. he will be guiding us on case taking and i thank our director sir i thank our principal sir dr barbat sir thanks all of you and we are concluding this session thank you thank thank you sir thank you thank you